Hi guys, got a request here from Human Porch 11. Hi, I have to make a paper car for school powered by rubber bands, cannot be slingshot. To get an A, the car needs to go 4 metres, which is the finish line. The permitted materials are computer paper, white glue or super glue, drinking straws, transparent tape or packing tape, paper clips, file folders, manila, index cards, string, rubber bands. Car dimensions are limited to 35 centimetres overall length and overall width 30 centimetres. No limit on height and total mass of 300 grams. I haven't got any manila folders. Uh, computer paper, I'm not quite sure whether that's the same as ordinary A4 paper or different. White glue I've got and super glue I've got. Drinking straws I've got. Packing tape I've got and transparent tape and paper clips. So I've got most of the bits and pieces. Instead of the manila folders, I've got some thin card here. It's pretty thin stuff. I think that's about the same as a manila folder would be. Various different types. That looked interesting, didn't it? Um, so I'll, I'll use this to do the, the basic idea. And that way I can't be accused of doing your homework for you. It won't be exactly the same. But it might give you some ideas on how I do it. So we need some wheels. So I've got a compass to draw the wheels. Need to be a, about the size of a CD, I suppose. CD's five inches, I think, five and a half inches. go two and a half inches. I've got a sharpened metal tube here that I can use for cutting the holes for the axles. So I'll use that in a minute. We're going to put a small disc in the middle of the wheel. Just to thicken the hub a little bit, to give it a bit more strength. Now we need to make the chassis. I'm going to make some tubes now. A pencil just to use as a former. So we've got two long tubes. I'll now cut this into think we need some cross members One, two. yeah we should be able to get four out of there in fact I need one at the back one at the front one across there for the front axle to go through and then we need two short ones at the back for the back axle to go through
go and see what happens. We're in my kitchen, ready for a test run. That red line to there is three meters. If it goes through to here, it will have done the four meters. Looks like we've got a bit of a turn. Try that again. That was four meters. I'll wind it up again and then we'll chase it with the camera. into my conservatory. That was a three meter mark. So we definitely did four meters. Summary time, what have we got? We've got a car made from thin card or thick paper, whichever way you look at it. The wheels are discs of card, two discs stuck together with an extra disc in the middle just to thicken it up a bit where the axle goes through. The axles are drinking straws. The chassis is rolled up card, rolled into a tube. So we've got two long tubes, two short tubes as cross members, another tube there for the axle tube, and two short tubes at the back so that we've got a gap in the middle so we can wrap the rubber band round the back axle. I did think that I'd need to put some paper through the middle of the drinking straw to strengthen it, but that seems to work okay. Uh, the chassis is all held together with clear sticky tape, and the wheels I glued together using super glue, but ordinary white PVA glue would have been fine. In fact, probably better, because <laughs> the superglue didn't really work very well. I made the front wheels in a different way to the way that I made the back wheels. Front wheels weren't very successful. You can see they're not very straight. So I'll just show you the way that the back wheels were made when I edit the video. They were much simpler and worked much better. So there we go, job done.